Well, first of all, let me introduce the amazing <laughs> Megan. Hey, yeah, so she's going to be Morning. helping us out. And she makes us look a whole lot better. Hey, Christine, good to see you. This morning on The Best You, we're talking about the fun factor. The fun factor. Okay, here's the premise of all of this. Uh, I read an article uh, recently and was talking about uh, work, work environment culture. And it was talking about team morale and, and even individual morale for entrepreneurs. And it was pointing to the fact that having fun in the workspace, whether it's in a corporate group workspace or an individual workspace, uh, number one, increases productivity. Number two, increases morale. Uh, number three, eliminates stress levels inside the workplace. And so I was just, we were thinking about that this morning and I said, hey, what, what are, what's something we can talk about? And Megan said, let's talk about having fun. Right? Hey, when is this? So let's talk about having fun. So today is Fun Friday. And what we want to do is talk about how important it is to have fun inside of our workspace. Now, a lot of you guys are entrepreneurs. Some of you aren't. Uh, some of you, even if you're working a part-time or a full-time corporate job, you also have this part-time thing going uh, inside a network marketing space or something else. And uh, what I've learned in entrepreneurship is that it's a lot of work, right? We're on the phone a lot. We're doing things that we dread a lot. It's just a lot of work. And entrepreneurship is not easy. It may be simple, but it's not easy. And a lot of us work 60, 70, even 80 hours a week. Some of you more than that if you're really on the front end of building an organization. So that being said... The potential for burnout is very, very high. And I see people all the time, they go start a new business, they join a network marketing company, and they work so hard on the front end, they can't sustain it long term. They never get into a life rhythm and they end up burning out. They ended up quitting and leaving before they... Sorry, <laughs> before, I can't help it. Before they, before they ever... Uh, I'm so distracted right now. Sorry. <laughs> They end up quitting and leaving before they ever reach their potential. Yeah, leave that. Leave that. It's good. Yeah. That's right. No, it's fine. It's good. It's fine. And so what we want to talk about is how to incorporate fun inside of this environment. So, uh, so number one, the philosophy is when we're building our schedule, we have to intentionally interject the fun factor into our schedule. And, and mix it up. You got to play. Yeah, if you want to stay, it's yeah. exactly right. And look at someone like Richard Branson, one of the most successful men in all the world. But what is he really known for? Right? If you look at his Google Plus or look uh, at the different, you know, LinkedIn, it's all about fun. That dude plays so hard and he plays every single day. And that's a big part of his philosophy to success is interjecting fun. So, we're talking about how to interject fun into your calendar and into your schedule. So we're going to go back and forth just a little bit. Megan's going to give you an idea. I'm going to give you an idea. And, uh, and then you'll, you're creative. You'll think of your own ways. But I challenge you today, interject fun into your Friday. Okay? Make sure you're having fun. Just like you're making calls. Just like you're doing personal development, make sure you're having fun every single day. Here's a few ideas. Meg? Okay, so my one of my ideas is, is something that I do personally because sometimes when I'm working, like I don't always have time to like go get up and actually do something or leave like my space. So I like to go on either Facebook or YouTube and I like to look up like a funny video or my favorite comedian or just search like I always I'm such an animal person so I love to look up like funny videos of animals or something just something little that's just gonna like take my mind off what I'm doing but make me laugh or just be like super pleasant so it just kind of gives me that break of space in my mind so that I laugh or I just like you know have fun with it so very cool that's a good one hey here's another one uh, disconnect to reconnect disconnect to reconnect and uh, even yesterday, for example, I was in the middle of, uh, I had about a three hour stretch where it was just phone call after phone call and digging into emails. We have some major goals that we're trying to hit. We're closing the month in our business and uh, things are really, really picking up in terms of activity. 
And uh, I found my brain just began to bog down because I was on the phone and on email and just thinking uh, just so urgently, just phone call after phone call after phone call. And, uh, and so I took the little dog and went downstairs out to the pool deck and I turned my phone to silent, I switched it off and I just created the right environment to where I could just recharge mentally, right? And uh, sometimes you just have to disconnect to reconnect. And it's all about creating that ambiance, that culture, that environment to where you can slow down and you can relax. And maybe you're laughing or whatever it is you're doing. Maybe it's just putting on the right, the right music, but you're forcing yourself to not think about work, to not think about phone calls, to not think about your to-do list, except for the fact that this is on our to-do list. So you have those those uh, little blocks inside of your calendar, which are recharge times and you disconnect or reconnect. And, and sometimes that's just getting into the right space, whether it's taking a walk or uh, if you have water around you, go into the water, maybe go into the back porch and setting on a swing and getting the right music on, but just disconnecting from all things technology and just making sure that your mind and your heart is being fed, right? and that you're pouring into yourself things that just make you feel better. So uh, just kind of make a list of all those things that make you feel great and just disconnect from all the technology and do those things. And I know it works for me and I have to do that. Otherwise my pro productivity just goes down, 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 down as the day goes. But if I can interject those fun factors and interject that culture of, uh, uh, of just no technology and fun, I'll see my productivity go back up in my next block of time. So disconnect to, to uh, reconnect. Mine, if you can't tell already, my next one is to dance. So we all know that motion creates emotion. So if you're you know, in this mindset and you're working and you're like frustrated or you're stressed or whatever, just get up and move around, put on your favorite music and you know, put on your earbuds, dance and Wherever you are, go to the bathroom and dance or go have a dance off with your coworker or something silly. Just be silly, get your body moving and it really helps you to get into a different mindset and be happy. All right, show us how you would do that. I've been showing you this whole time. Yep, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's how we do it around here. It was a little more crazy than that, but I'll spare you. That's what you call the fun factor, interjecting the dance-offs. Hey, the yeah. last one, the last one I'll mention is this. Uh, you know, I know inside of our, inside of our industry space, there's a lot of things we do that we necessarily don't love to do, like being on the phone. I'm not a phone person. I don't like making phone calls, and uh, this business is driven by phone calls, and uh, it is not my strong suit. Uh, that being said, one thing you can do is you can mix it up by making everything a game, even inside of your team. It's something I've been thinking about. You know, having contests, but not having contests that are so serious and are pressure oriented or pressure driven. But take those activities that maybe we don't necessarily love to do and form some type of game with your team, with those activities where you're staying in touch all through the day. And it really becomes a game. And uh, I really think that we can take things inside of our workspace and those activities that really generate income and we can make them fun just by the way we frame them and, uh, and make sure that you're bringing your team into it. And, and that's gonna be a big part of the fun. It's just bringing your team in. So, hey, to wrap this whole thing up, find ways to have fun during the workspace. The right music, talk to the right people, don't talk to downers, don't talk to complainers. Find people that are having fun, connect with those guys. Megan said, find funny videos. Find your, a comedian that you love and listen to that person. Have dance-offs. <laughs> have dance-offs. Make have everything a, dance -off a game. Right now. <laughs> Make everything a game. And guys, I'm telling you, what we're doing is amazing. We're making a difference. You're making a difference. But make sure you're having fun to the point that you don't burn out, right? You wouldn't miss this for anything because you're having fun. Teams that have fun together, stay together. We are stronger together. That is absolutely right. Have fun. All right, guys, to so the best you. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. Have fun tonight. 
Do not let it be all business. You'll be more successful if you have fun. Take time and have fun, and you'll get more done. Love y'all. <laughs> oh, God. Bye. I love you guys. Have Talk a good weekend. Soon. Bye.